Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Westinghouse ST Smart Switch. It's a transfer switch, but what makes this one special is that this will automatically start your generator. Sort of like a whole house system, but of course this is a lot more affordable and easy way to do it. So let's see how we hook this thing up. So we got our smart switch box, and I've got a generator here. It's a Westinghouse 9500 dual fuel system. Now this switch only works with the Westinghouse generators, and I'll give you a list here to take a look at all the ones that it works with. There's a large uh, variety here. And I did a video on this generator recently, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so we've got our box, and out of the box has a fairly long cord on this 30 amp plug. So that guy just plugs right in here, twist that in, Okay, then we've got our data cable or the control cable and that plugs in right here. And that's why this only works with Westinghouse generators because this data cable is designed specifically for it. Alright, then we're going to plug the other end into the box, you can see, just goes right in here. and. Twist the sun here. Okay. All right. Now, next, we're going to plug in the utility power. Now, this is an extension cord just from any 20 amp uh, plug in your house, uh, not a GFI. Plug that in here, like that. Okay. So now you see the green light comes on. We've got utility power to the box, we're connected to our generator, and we've got the control cable set up. So now this output plug, that's what's going to be, uh, anything you plug into this guy here will be driven up to 20 amps, and it's got a fuse. So you could plug in stuff like uh, refrigerators, sump pumps, uh, small air conditioner, you know, whatever you want to plug in up to 20 amps on that circuit. Okay. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, I'm going to use, just as a, as a test, we're going to plug in just this light here. We've got this little LED light, just to give you the idea. So we're plugged in here. It's running right off of the utility that's coming in. The box knows that it has utility power, so it's going to drive it off the utility. Okay, now let's look at our generator setup. So we come over to our generator and we're going to turn the run switch on. We're going to make sure that our main breaker is up. And we're going to turn the fuel on. Okay, so now okay. I'll just give you a little demonstration of how this thing actually works. As you can see, we're plugged into utility. We've got our green light. Everybody's happy. We're also plugged into the generator. Our generator's all set with the switch on, the breaker up, the fuel's on. It's all plugged in. We're ready to go. So we know the storm's going to hit at like 3 o'clock in the morning, but we go ahead and go to sleep knowing that if the power goes out, our generator's going to kick in. So just to demonstrate how that might work, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the uh, utility plug. Okay, so when the utility power is lost, the red light comes on, the control box sends a signal to the generator, starts the generator, generator warms up for a few seconds, and then switches power to the loads. If the power were to come back on, now we've got power back on, we're still running on generator. It's going to go ahead and switch that back over. So as you could see, as soon as we lost the utility power, the system figured that out started the generator, switched power over to the generator. When the utility came back, it switched back to the utility and lets the generator run for a minute to cool it down and then it shuts the generator off. Now we're right back into standby mode. Lose power again. Okay, so I could think of several ways that we could make good use of this
smart automatic transfer switch. For example, if a hurricane were coming, we could hook up the whole system, hook it up to our refrigerator, sump pump, even the security cameras. Then you leave town, get in a secure location. You wouldn't have to worry about losing your food in your refrigerator, and you could even monitor the situation through the cameras. So if you have any interesting ideas about how you might use this switch, I'd love to hear them. Go ahead and put them in the comments section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.